types of financial models. The fundamental building block of all financial models is the three statement model. It simply models a company's income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. It also uses supporting schedules and assumptions to connect everything using formulas in Excel. The use of the three statement model is primarily to analyze historical results and set up a forecast for the future. It sets the foundation on which all other models are built. The next most common type of model to be layered on top is a discounted cash flow analysis or DCF model. It includes everything in the three statement model, but also has a section on free cash flow and valuation. Free cash flow is calculated using a series of formulas and it can be free cash flow to the firm or free cash flow to equity. An analyst will calculate a terminal value and use the weighted average cost of capital to discount all cash flows back to the present value. An analyst will also calculate the internal rate of return of making the investment. The purpose of a DCF model could be to value a business, an investment, or a project, determine the price to pay for something, assess strategic initiatives, internal planning, and raising money, to name a few examples. This is one of the most core types of financial models. Moving beyond a DCF model, there are budgeting and forecasting models that companies use for managing their operations in-house. It's usually a monthly type of model that has a lot of detail around the operations of the business and rolls forward each month to add another forecast. The purpose of the model is for internal planning, budgeting, evaluating performance of the business, and strategic planning. In addition to that, there is a valuation model. A valuation model includes a DCF as one example of a type of valuation, but also includes comparable company analysis, as well as precedent transactions, and then a football field that summarizes the range of values from the three methods, including the DCF model. This valuation model is used for many purposes. It can be used to display a range of values for a business, summarize valuation methods, and create a presentation, often for investment banking or private equity types of transactions. Let's look at a more advanced type of financial model for mergers and acquisitions. An M&A model has everything in the three statement model and DCF models, plus operating scenarios, a consolidation of the two businesses, extensive transaction assumptions, an accretion dilution analysis which shows the impact on per share metrics, as well as sensitivity analysis and impact on share price. So there is a lot that goes into an M&A model. It's a very advanced type of financial modeling. It's primarily used to evaluate M&A transactions, determine how much to pay, figure out the type of consideration that should be offered, evaluate synergies, and assess the impact of the acquisition. It's mostly used in investment banking and corporate development. Another type of very advanced financial model is a leverage buyout or LBO model. It also includes everything in the three statement and DCF models, plus operating scenarios, transaction assumptions, extensive debt and interest modeling, and finally, a major breakdown of the internal rate of return, or IRR, by investor type. Finally, sensitivity analysis may also be layered on top. The use of an LBO model is primarily to value a target business, determine how much to pay for it, and figure out what the internal rate of return to the equity investor or sponsor is going to be. It's also used to evaluate scenarios and sensitivities and obtain financing from lenders. Hopefully this has given you a clear overview of the main types of financial models, what they consist of, and what they're used for. To learn more, please check all of our financial modeling courses out at corporatefinanceinstitute.com.